Hello dear students, our next topic is section formula. What is section formula? C. If a point P divides segment AB in M ratio N and if we know the coordinates of point A and coordinates of point B then we can find the coordinates of P using the section formula. Section formula kaise bana? Now we are, are going to discuss that. Suppose consider in figure point P on the segment AB in plane XY plane divide segment AB in ratio M ratio N means a P divides AB in M ratio N. As you can, the coordinates of A are x1, y1, B are x2, y2, and P are x1. Draw the three perpendicular AC, PQ, and BD on x axis. Therefore, the coordinates of C will be x1 0. Why we have written this 0? Because the y coordinate on x axis is always 0. Similarly, the coordinate of Q will be x as the coordinate of P and y will be 0. And the coordinate of D will be x2 as in B but y coordinate will be 0. Here we have written coordinates of C, Q and D. Now what is the distance CQ? Using the distance formula CQ is equal to X minus X1. X minus X1. And what is the distance DQ? X2 minus X. Here we have written QD distance X2 minus X. Now these three lines AC, PQ and BD are parallel. These three segments AC, B, PQ and BD are parallel according to our construction. Using the property in the first chapter, these are the three parallel lines and the intercepts made by the two transversal are in equal ratios. Means the ratio CQ upon DQ will be equal to AP upon PD. CQ upon QD equal to AP upon PB by the properties of three parallel lines. Now substitute the value of CQ, QD and AP, PB. See, the value of CQ that is X minus X1 and QD that is X2 minus X. AP and PB ratio is taken as M ratio N. We have substituted as M upon M. Now, <coughs> taking this N, here it is a divide and it will come in multiply and here X2 minus X1 or so X2 minus X will come here in multiply. Solving equation, multiplying M with X and X minus and X1, similarly M X2 and minus M X. Now, moving the terms. Uh, minus mx come here will be positive mx and minus and x1 will be there and it will be nx1. The x is common in both the terms. Take it, take it out and a bracket will remain m plus n. Now this m plus n bracket bring that side of the equation that will be mx2 plus mx1 upon m plus 1 m plus n sorry and now this is the coordinate x Similarly, as we have seen the x coordinate of point p is mx2 plus mx1 upon mn we can find the y coordinate of p that that will be y equal to m y2 plus n by 1 
upon n plus n. In this way, if P divides segment AB in m ratio n, the coordinates of point P will be mx2 plus mx1 upon m plus n, m by 2 plus n by 1 upon m plus n. This is the section formula. Using this formula, we can find the coordinate of point P which divide segment AB. If we know the coordinates of point A and B and ratio M ratio N. Now the second point from this chapter is midpoint formula. Suppose in above example, above formula, the point P is midpoint of segment AB. Then M ratio N will be 1 ratio 1. Here substituting value of m n m will be 1 and n will be 1 therefore it will be x2 plus x1 but we have written as x plus x1 plus x2 upon 2 y 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 similarly here y1 plus y2 upon 2 this is the formula for midpoint of a segment which divides segment a b in 1 ratio 1 the coordinate of midpoint will be x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. 